What is up my beautiful people? I hope you're having an amazing day. And today's video, we're going to take a look at how you can update your Redmi K20 Pro slash Mi 90 Pro to latest Android 15 HyperOS 2.2. Now in my previous video, I told you guys that I would be showcasing a stable version of HyperOS 2 with Android 14. But later I thought that most of you guys are actually using this phone as your secondary phone. So it doesn't really matter if it's completely providing the Google services and optimization. Still, I have focused as much as Google that you can feed into this ROM because this is a China stable version and it's very feature packed. It looks beautiful and the bugs are minimal. I haven't heard about this developer a lot, but it's very stable experience and very feature rich like this feels like a brand new phone so let's just take a look throughout the ui before beginning the installation as you can see it still has few of the chinese stuff downloadable as being a china rom but if you just go through ui it's butter smooth if you just go to edit there is more blur as hyperos 2.2 has a lot of gradients like even if i go to sound controls if i just hold it on as you can see it's picking up the gradient from wallpaper like the blur engine hyper OS is downright amazing. You even have more blur in the folder, which is great. You even have the Xiaomi hyper AI. Like nothing has been stripped down from this ROM. You have everything and it's in Chinese. I think won't be much of the use, but it picks up pretty well. You can even type into it just like your normal Google assistant. You even have the circle to search Xiaomi's version of it which is in Chinese, so not a lot of use, but still great. Going through apps, they are very feature rich as you already get, nothing much. Even if you go through calendar, not a lot, normal stuff. If you just go through gallery, you have all the AI features that you would get in the latest Xiaomi phone. If you just go to edit AI, you have AI, erase, Sky, all the features right over here working and they are downloadable, which is nice. And this ROM comes with the default camera 5.1, which is a much more updated version than what you get in another ported ROM. So you do get Leica style and the authentic one does actually add like a vignette, but the effect is really quite cool. The telephoto lens in this camera is a bit broken, but if you use a third party camera or G cam, it works just fine. But you do have few more features, maybe older features enhanced like long exposure, but yeah. The processing is great compared to the normal stock ROM one. As you can see, this is how it looks. So let's just hop onto the settings app. This is how it looks. Xiaomi account works well. This is the developer, Kami Yuki. I think that's how you pronounce it. But the Hyperos version is 2.0.203.0. Quite latest. If you just go to detailed info, Android 15 security patch is May 2025, so quite latest. Normal Easter egg, nothing new. Coming back, you do have additional features which are pretty much everything is in Chinese, but I did translate them. And a few of the stuff is like you have Android 15 Easter egg, you have Android KitKat Easter egg for some odd weird reason. Then there are usage statistics and few more ad related and basic Android features added which is quite great. You can just translate them and just use if you want. Scrolling down, you have normal Xiaomi interconnectivity. If you have the ecosystem, which is pretty great. Then basic stuff like normal Xiaomi share, car width. If you have a custom head unit, which allows installing APK, you can use the car width. If you have the receiver, which is quite great. Then going down Xiaomi Hyper AI is completely present right over here. If you know how to use it, you can definitely give it a try. AI app boasts to have AI dynamic wallpapers, which are working in this version. I will show you later on. Then you have normal stuff like AI fraud prevention, subtitles, interpreter, which are in Chinese, but they do work. So scrolling down personalization, it's quite great. If you just go to the always on display, you do have support for wallpaper. And I will recommend just keeping it for like 10 seconds. Otherwise it will cause burn in as this is a 60 hertz fixed panel but as you can see it looks quite great and that wasn't lock screen that was just aod this is aod <laughs> fingerprint scanner just works fine in this version and it even works in the google play store for authenticating purchases which is nice and then coming to wallpapers you have ai dynamic wallpapers which works just fine here are the pre-built ones and few of the wallpapers from xiaomi 15 pro maybe and then your normal super wallpapers which are amazing to begin with you have a lot of customization when it comes to fingerprint animation 
which wasn't available even you have the downloadable ones which are the older ones from the k20 pro so going back lock screen nothing much face unlocked fingerprint unlock just works fine notification status bar you do have some chinese lyrics on status bar feature which i don't know how it works i'll keep that for you guys to find out but going through display scrolling down you have ai image engine which i think won't work but if you just go to refresh rate this is one of the most amazing parts so if you just go to the refresh rate you have refresh rate up till 90 hertz and it just works amazing like boosting k20 pro's panel to 90 hertz isn't a new thing but running it this stable and this smooth is amazing again let me just show you guys by going to developer options by refresh refresh rate show refresh rate as you can see it's 90 and it holds 90 everywhere you go it's butter smooth and the device doesn't actually heat up or lose its colors as you can see you can barely tell there is any difference in saturation the phone just works amazingly fluid but it's not recommended to overclock your panel so we'll just turn it back to 60 and the great part about it is that you don't have to lock unlock your phone restart your phone or just wait for it to switch it's instant like it's an official feature scrolling down nothing much home screen you don't get anything much sounds and vibrations fingerprint unlock works face unlock works you have healthy device usage which is just digital well-being additional features there isn't a lot normal chinese features you have front camera effects cause it is completely baked in you don't have to use any kind of add-ons for that you have additional app features that you can turn on and off and that's basically it if you are talking about the google services you can actually get basic device integrity with play integrity fourth module and let's just get to the installation so again prerequisites are you have to have basic knowledge of installing custom roms if you don't have that just refer to any kind of video which shows you how to unlock your device and install a TWRP recovery. Once you do that, come back to this video and just go to the recovery by holding down your power button, power off, power plus volume up. Once you're to the recovery, we'll flash the appropriate recovery given by the developer so that you won't have any kind of errors. I guess the developer recommends a orange fox recovery, dynamic one. The phone will reboot itself. Welcome to Orange Fox. Now we will switch our legacy to dynamic partition. Just like that. Reboot the recovery once. Once you're back into the recovery, just flash the ROM, which would be Raphael Hyper OS 2 version 7.2. And the ROM should install itself in a couple minutes. And the ROM has been successfully installed. As you can see, the script succeeded. There are no errors. So just go back home. You will need to clear our data. So for that, we'll actually need to convert our data partition from ext4, I guess. That's the default one from K20 Pro to F2FS. So for that, go to manage partitions, select data, enter, change FS, select F2FS. I don't know the exact reason for doing this, but maybe for performance, the developer does recommend doing this even convert the cache select cache enter change fs f2fs swipe and that should be it reboot system and the phone should be up in two to three minutes and approximately a minute later the phone is back up just select english next just go through the setup quickly Set it up later on. Agree to Xiaomi Hyper AI. Skip. The Hyper OS setup actually looks quite good. That's it. Continue. As you can see, this is how the UI looks as default. And now in order to enable the Google Play services, just go to settings. First of all, I'll just enable anti-flicker mode for you guys to see more easily. There you go, better. Just go back, go to apps, show all apps, search for Google, tedious process. 
there should be Google Play services disabled right over here. Just go to it, enable, enable basic Google services. And yeah, that should be it on how you can enable the Google Play services and install HyperOS 2.2 Android 15 on your Redmi K20 Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please drop a like, subscribe down there for more videos like this. And do let me know what devices you guys are actually using these days. Yeah, see you guys in the next one.